Okay, tonight we're going to hike the Bells Canyon uh, trail up to the waterfall, which is about two miles up to the waterfall. And what you want to do is just at the bottom of Little Cottonwood Canyon, the trailhead is the sandy granite trailhead. Uh, this one does get pretty full, so if you come and there's no parking, you can just go south a little bit on Wasatch Boulevard and there is an overflow par parking over there and a separate trailhead that will actually take you up to the reservoir and you can access the main trail from there as well. So if it gets full. So this is part of the trailhead here. There are bathrooms, they are pit toilets. Susan doesn't like them. <laughs> but hey, at least uh, at least there's a spot, right? I love it. What? My gold let stick. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so we are at the trailhead. Um, we're gonna go up. Oh, here's the map. Okay, so there's the Bells Canyon. So we're at this one right here, which is the granite trailhead. And we're gonna follow it up to the waterfall. The other trailhead I was talking about is just south on Wasatch Boulevard, the Boulders Trail, and it will take you up to the reservoir where you can join the main trail up to the waterfall as well. So again, it's about a two miles to the waterfall, so we're going to see what it looks like. And the trail hike goes this way. Okay, so we've made it up to the reservoir. So we just came up this trail right here. And you can see there's a lovely view of the valley. If you can see, it's actually kind of hazy and very bright, but there's a really great view of the valley. And to your right, once you get up here, the right will take you actually around the reservoir. Um, and you will meet up with the main trail to the waterfall, but we're not going to go that way because it just goes around it. So we're going to go over here to the left, but first I'm going to show you the reservoir. So this is Bells Canyon Reservoir. You can kind of see it there behind the trees. You can see the reflection. We have gone three quarters of a mile, three quarters of a mile to get to the reservoir. Here. So, all three of y'all getting we're at the reservoir, yeah. and we're gonna go continue oh, on up the trail. So, just in case you're wondering, the reservoir here, you cannot swim, you can fish, but it is catch and release only. There's a nice little bench that you can sit on when you get to the reservoir. Just a little bit more view of Salt Lake Valley over here, and no dogs allowed because it is a watershed. What does that mean? So. Water. Yep. What's so water people. Yep. This is the water you oh, drink. Yeah. So no dogs allowed. <laughs> so we're gonna continue up the trail now. Okay, we're at point nine mile, and you can see the sign here for the waterfall. One point two miles away to the lower falls, which is all we're going to tonight. So and then Bell's Canyon Trail. So it just goes off to the left. You can't miss the signs. If you keep going straight up the road, um, that goes around the reservoir and you'll end up back um, at the boulder trail and then eventually back to the granite trail. So, all right, here we go. One more, 1.2 miles to go. So, if we go straight down. so you can hear the little river off to the side. So we are at 1.4 miles. This is where the trail uh, just kind of gets closer to the stream here. And we still have about a half a mile or more to go up this way where these guys are coming, but nice little area here. It's pretty. Just gonna go up the trail a little way. You can see there's a bridge that we're gonna cross and then continue our hike on the other side of this creek here. So the waterfall is 0.7. This is the lower fall. There is another sign that we passed down the trail that says waterfall nine miles. That is the upper falls. There is another fall and reservoir at the top. It's about a 10 mile. So yeah, it's a 10 mile hike up to the reservoir and upper falls, and we're not doing that. Um, we're just going to the lower falls. And then be sure to heed the warning. It says, 
do not jump across the water around the waterfall. It looks like you can, but you cannot. And there's several people that have actually died uh, trying to jump across because it is further than you think and deeper and the water is stronger than you think. And people have been pulled over the waterfall to their death. So don't jump over the waterfall. Okay, we're almost there. We've gone just over two miles Dude, I and hear the water. <laughs> it's really steep. So just be prepared at the end. It gets really steep, but you're, we're almost there. I promise. So it just is, it's rough that last, this last part with the rocks and the steep, but. Okay. So we're looking down the steepest part of the trail and it really is steep and not easy, but it's the last thing you have to do before you get to the waterfall. See, so now we just turn left. <laughs> Shanna and Susan are like, had enough. <laughs> so all we gotta do is just go to the left <laughs> and, uh, and we're there. So it's, you know, I, the, the um, information on it says it's about a four mile hike, but it, I think it's closer to five, honestly. So we'll see what it says at the end. But Four of it being straight up. Some of it, yeah, the last part of it being straight up. So just be prepared.